This is a Kindling Kids podcast. Hello, little explorer. Did you go on an adventure today? Did you explore anything new? Being a little explorer means we're always learning and exploring the world around us. And helping our friends, the animals and the planet. And tonight, before you go to sleep, someone special needs your help. Someone very special that lived a long, long time ago. Are you ready? First, we have to prepare for our journey by slowing down our breath. If you don't already know, our breath is very powerful. By slowing our breath, we are telling our bodies and brains that it's okay to relax. And when we relax, we recharge our batteries, just like a phone, which helps us be even stronger little explorers. So let's do that now. Start by taking a big deep breath in through your nose, counting to three. One, two, three, and then breathe out. One, two, three. Well done. Let's try that again. Breathe in. One, two, three. Breathe out. One, two, three. Great job. Now that you are calm and relaxed, little explorer, let's go exploring. Let's start by grabbing the string of a big floating balloon. Can you feel the balloon pull you up, up, up into the sky? You're floating through the air, light as a cloud, travelling back in time, all the way back to the time of the dinosaurs. And down the balloon goes now, landing softly on the grass. And as we land, someone is waiting for us. Who are we going to meet tonight? Oh, it's our good buddy, the Triceratops. Triceratops were one of the last dinosaurs on Earth. They are amazing to look at. With three big horns, which can be pretty spiky, a beak for a mouth, and a giant frill around their neck. And with all those spiky horns, it looks like two of our Triceratops friends have got themselves stuck together. Hi, 
Triceratops buddies? Are you two stuck together? What happened? Oh, you were hugging your friend and your horns got stuck. Oh, lucky we're here, little explorer. What do you think we have in our explorer's backpack to help our friends? Let's take a look. What about some rope? Yes, that should do it. Let's get the rope out of our bag, wrap it around our friend's tummy, and then give it a gentle pull. Ready? Pull. Hmm, that didn't really work. Maybe you can help us too, Triceratops. When we pull one way, you pull the other way. Ready? Let's give it a try. One, two, three, pull. Yes! You're free. Let's check our buddies are okay, little explorers. Have a close look. You're so gentle. Well done. I think they're all okay now. How are you both feeling now, Triceratops? Oh, they are giving you a gentle nudge as a thank you. They are very grateful for your help, little explorer. Well done. We have to go now, buddies. But remember to be careful of your horns next time you hug. Bye. Are you ready to head back home now, little explorer? Grab hold of your big balloon and feel yourself rising up and up into the sky, floating up into the clouds and forward through time, landing gently and safely in your cosy bedroom. in your bed, ready for sleep. What a great adventure, little explorer. Sweet dreams, and wake up in the morning healthy and happy and ready to explore the world again tomorrow. Good night, little one.